good YouTube. My name's Louis. Welcome to my channel, Louis Laces. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and I'll be forever in your debt. Please hit the like button if you enjoy this video and drop a comment in the comment section. I get back to every single one of you. I'm back with a new video today and we're going to be taking an in-depth look and an on-foot look at a shoe that I'm really excited about. And that shoe is the Air Jordan 13 Red Flint. Now these released last Saturday the 1st of May and they retailed for £164.95p here in the UK. Personally, I think they're absolutely fire. So we're going to take a look at the box, get the shoe out, talk about the shoe a bit and get a detailed look at it for you guys. So we just have your normal Jordan 13 retro silver box with the red Jumpman on the top. We're going to open up the box, just have your normal white tissue. Ooh. And inside, we have our Air Jordan 13 Red Flint. Sure, what are you saying about these guys? This, these shoes have really shocked me, to be honest. I wasn't expecting them to be as fire in hand as they are. They're like, they're ridiculous. Like, and I'm a massive fan of the Jordan 13 silhouette. Personally, I like the ones, the fours, the sixes, and the 13s the best out of all of them. I'd say probably, these are probably my, hmm, I don't know, probably my third favourite silhouette, I'd say, behind the fours and the ones. I just think they're a wicked cool design. And this colourway is absolutely amazing. It really is. It really is. And these are basically a new spin on the, um, the Jordan 13 Flints, which released, what, 1998, the OGs. And then I think they retroed them in 2005 and 2010. And then we had them in 2020 last year. I've actually got them. And I think they're an amazing, amazing shoe, amazing colorway. And to be honest with you, when I seen the pictures of these, I don't get me wrong, I like them, but I liked the pictures, but I didn't think I was gonna like them in hand as much as the, um, the flints, the navy flints. But I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna be honest, actually in hand, I think I like them better. And the reason for that is, I just think the red pops on them a bit more because they're basically exactly the same other than this being the red and this being the navy and um, a couple of other differences with the, you know, the black jump man and the blue jump man. But yeah, I wasn't expecting to like them more than these because these are like up there for me, these are amazing. But I just think they pop that little bit more. And um, I'm really, really, really happy to have these in the collection. And I'm just really glad they bought out this colorway because I just think it's absolutely fire, it really is. The way that Jim Red just bounces off the gray and the white, I just think, you know, they absolutely nailed it on these, they really did. So I'm gonna work my way around the shoe guys and get a detailed look for you guys so you can really see what's going on with this Air Jordan 13 Red Flint. And I'm gonna start like I always do with the sole. So on the sole, you just have your average Air Jordan 13 sole and you've got your white grip panels, your four white grip panels, sorry, six. You have your gym red in between them. Then you have your little panels of that black with the white dots on it. The black bold outlining all the way around. 
and the cool little touch they do on the Air Jordan 13s. You have that black jump man inside that red kind of holographic circle, which I think is really cool on the Air Jordan 13s. Moving up to the midsole, we have them crazy white, kind of just they're like futuristic if you ask me, grips on the midsole, them oval shapes all the way around. And then around them, you have that gray suede, that flint suede, which like I'm a real fan of them putting that suede on the midsole. I just think it's really different. Don't get me wrong, it's an absolute nightmare to clean, but it's just it's different, isn't it? Just to having that normal material that you have on normal midsoles. Working up to the upper, you have that flint suede again, working its way around the side and the back and waves underneath this gym red on the side. Moving our way up to the gym red panel, it's kind of like a mesh and it has indentations on it. And it also has like a reflective silver stitched all the way through that mesh. And in the right light that really pops and you can really see it. And I just think it's a really, really cool touch that they do rather than just having it just that gym red the whole way through. And on the outline of that, they have like a bold nylon gym red outlining. Which I think also adds a lot to the shoe. Just makes it pop a little bit more. On the heel, we have that flint suede coming up. And the cool thing about these on the Air Jordan 13s, you have that circle on the side of the heel that has the 23 with a jump man in it. If you hit it in the right light, it reflects. It's like a holographic circle again with the 23 and the jump man. I think that's really, really cool. A real good touch on the Jordan 13s. Moving our way to the toe, just inside these two red panels, these two gym red panels, we have that kind of light tumbled white leather on the toe box. Moving up to the tongue, just underneath the tongue, you have that Jordan label in the black with the white writing. And the tongue is that light tumbled leather again with the perforated holes. And on the top has the black Jumpman logo. Moving to the lining of the shoe, we have that gym red lining, lovely soft material. And that also just comes down onto the top of the back of the heel, just comes down slightly, just so you can see it on the heel. And that's actually on the back of the tongue as well, that gym red soft material. The laces, you just have pure white normal rope laces. And they didn't come with any other colour laces, unfortunately. And the inserts on these are pure white with that Jim Red Jordan logo, the Jumpman logo inside. I just think these are an all round amazing shoe and I'm really glad they come up with this colourway and put this new spin on the Flint colourway with the Jim Red. I think it pops amazing. I just think they're really, really cool and I can't wait. I can't wait to bust these out, I really can't. Personally, I'll probably wear them with like a light gray tracksuit. You know, I just think off a light gray tracksuit, that Jim Red will just pop really well. So I'm gonna get onto the on foot look for you now, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Like I said at the start of the video, if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. Help me out and get into my first milestone of a thousand subscribers and subscribe to the channel. I'll be forever grateful. Please drop a comment. Like I said, I get back to every single one of you. And other than that, guys, as always, take care of yourselves, stay healthy, stay positive, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.